remember Igbo as a figure, an innocent man who has done nothing wrong, who has committed no crime, is being locked up, punished by the uh, what do you call it, by the lawless uh, government in Africa. And the right thing to do is to what is to help, and that's what we are doing now. Okay, so I am going to open my line for you to ask me questions when I finish my briefings. All right. So, but let's first start with uh, what are, what what have we got? What have we got since we started? So the first one starts with uh, because my paper logged out every second. Like, so I'm going to share the paper with you first. So as of today, uh, we have uh, what do you call it? We have. Uh, 23,805 pounds on a gift send go on uh, PayPal. We have um, a total of uh, five, I mean, sorry, 3,545 pounds. So I haven't added them up, but maybe we should do now. So then in this case, that means we are somewhere around uh, 27,000. Three on I'm sorry, twenty-seven thousand one hundred and I'm sorry, twenty-seven thousand one hundred and fifty pounds. Now that is above the fifty percent of our targets, okay? But that's what we have generated. But what do we have in hand as we speak right now? Because uh, you see, the most of that donation on the gift send go, I have received them in my bank. So as we speak from our 23,805 pounds generated on the, I mean, raised on the gift sent go, I currently have with me from them a total of 18,000 pounds. So they still have uh, over 5,000 pounds yet to be released. For that of the PayPal, I currently have uh, a total of uh, five, I'm sorry, 3,545 pounds which then uh, puts the total cash that we have access to now, put that uh, at 21,545 pounds. That is another 50 pounds I received. You remember this uh, mother who called in from London, I mean, who called in from the UK twice that she wanted to donate she needed something she couldn't use the paypal she couldn't use the uh you know the online gift send i mean sorry gift send go that she needed an account and last night i gave her one so she did donate uh, 50 pounds so it was uh, this course it is in a different account but if you add that to what we call the cash attend yeah you can easily say we have a uh, twenty one thousand five hundred and uh 95 pounds now as cash while out there we still have uh what do you call it we still have uh, 5500 or so on our give send go that's our cash now let's use uh let's use nigerian uh, currency to calculate this so when i did it the last time using the exchange rate of uh, 700 780 naira to a pound so i had uh, i multiplied that by the 21,545 pounds and it gave me something roughly uh you know 17 million naira now i hope that uh, makes sense to you now from your donation all over the world for this intervention we now have uh, a financial washest of uh, 17 million naira cash what are we going to do with the money that is the interesting part remember that primarily the purpose for this fund is to get a proper legal team put together and when we say team we are not saying to get a lawyer there's a difference between getting lawyer and getting legal team the legal team means that uh, they are all lawyers but they are all going to be working on different capacity to help, help, help this case. There are those that are going to be working on researches, uh, both on uh, this uh, Beninois uh, laws, uh, West African, uh, you know, wherever laws, community laws here and there, criminal laws here and there, and so on and so forth. There are those. That's why they call them team. But I can't select who and who is going to be who. 
I decided to approach a radical lawyer chamber, a chamber known never to be in bed with uh, the establishment. You know, a law firm that asked me, do you really want to fight or you just want to probably just pretend that you are fighting and then uh, maybe you prefer to beg because there are those, there are lawyers, right? That ordinarily, they will want to beg the system. You know what I mean? They will try to use connection and talk to people and say, please, uh, please help uh, us. Uh, we just want him released. I'm being paid. And uh, you know what I mean? Please. And that one can take you like forever. No. He said, do you want to fight? I said, yes, we want to fight legally. They have done so much terrible things. They have killed innocent people. But you see that one in uh, Bene Republic that Bene Republic is doing. Bene Republic is so comfortable. They are too comfortable. That's what I told him. I said, they are too comfortable. And they cannot be holding Igbo in Bene Republic. And they are that comfortable. And they said, yes, if that should be the case, then you have... Uh, you have the right uh, chamber that we deal with this. You get to know more about them as we proceed, yeah? Uh, they represent what I think we, we, we need, right? Now, in our conversation, they've decided to take it up, but they are one week, uh, you know, they are one week time. They said, give, me, give us a week. We'll get back to you and we'll tell you how we want to approach this. And then we'll take it on from there. That one week is going to be on Friday. That's two days away, right? That's the progress. And uh, I have assured them that uh, we have a reliable flow of uh, resources. If they can give us results, we would want results from every penny that we spend. And they agree. Again, I'm waiting on them. And on Friday, we're going to steal that. There's another part. We know that if we continue to say we are going to court, we are going to court, it is just going to make mock, uh, a mockery of uh, the work of those who have been going to court and they have been trying to approach court. Now that Benin Republic uh, shut down their court completely, yeah? So we know it's not going to be about courts and courts and courts only. We are going to use everything every tool every tool that is available in our toolbox to help bene mm? and they will release the bow yes they will release him because as we speak even from the little intel we have bene republic just feels like uh, the Igbo people they are not really pressuring rather than pressure they are begging. So whenever they go begging, Benin Republic will tell them, go and beg Abuja. Go and beg Buhari. If you can beg Buhari, yeah? Of course, we have no stake in all of this. We have nothing with uh, this guy. We have nothing on him, okay? But we can't let him go. Nigeria is dealing with us uh, at the border. And you know that uh, 30 to 40% of our economy in Benin Republic survives on the daily activity at the border between Benin and Nigeria. And Boko Hari has, you know, shut down up to the 80% of the activities at the border. And look, they can do worse, okay? Not that because we kind of uh, uh, afraid of what they can do, but we just don't want to be the one to provoke that. So if you want uh, you go out, you need to go and beg Buhari. Do you understand that now? And the Lanomo do our like Ududi, Kakaka Dobalefun, Gambari, Kenokuku Roju Shekini, Okokuku Rojuku. So begging Benin Republic is not, is not enough. So we need to force the hand of Benin Republic. We need to force the hand of those behind it. Some people know that uh, Igbo is in their detention. Talon, their president, knows, right? And politically, diplomatically, he can pretend. All right, he can pretend, but there are other things that he can't pretend about. So this is why we are also hiring a private uh, investigator for this case of Sunday Igbo. And when I say private investigator, I'm not just talking about somebody who is going to investigate and then uh, he will report it to us and then he will tell us what is going on. No, not just that. We are going to use everything. We are going to know those behind holding off a Sunday Igbo in Benin Republic right now. 
including the person who is in charge of signing him into that detention. Okay, we're going to know everybody layer by layer, layer by layer, to the point of those who is actually pulling the string with Nigeria. Somebody is doing that for them. Okay, so at the same time, we are going to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the government of Benin Republic. Uh, yeah, it may, this may sound kind of uh, uh, elaborative, somehow elaborative or somehow, yeah, or is ambitious. Yes, we are ambitious. We do everything to get them to hone up and free Igbo. And not just free him, they will release him. He is going to continue on his journey to Germany or wherever he chooses to go to. That is going to come with a package. All right. And that is why. Yeah, we are going to be paying a not just a private investigator, eh? an investigative journalist that is also going to help us liars. We have every information they found out in Bene. Nothing they will find in Nigeria is going to probably be new to you until maybe if you now discover that uh, eh? maybe it's just uh, one or two Yoruba governors or maybe one or two Yoruba politicians. They are the ones who are actually behind it. So those are the shockers that you're likely going to, they're going to come up with. So we are using everything. Like I said, we are using everything we have in our toolbox, every weapon in our arsenal, just to make those who feel like, uh, you know, they have the upper hand right now. If, I mean, even though they do, we want to make them uncomfortable. We want their names. We want names. We want their phone records. We want their text messages. We want them where they are exchanging messages because of Igbo. We want the people behind this whole thing. We want to halt them. Yeah? And not just that. We are also going to be working on getting this Igbo story into the front uh, papers, into the front uh, of their TV, into the earpiece of uh, all the belly no belly noise, speaking French and talking about the injustice and the crime that uh, the politicians in Benin Republic are committing through their precedents with Nigeria to hold an innocent man. We are going to use all of that. Some of you may call it propaganda. Eh? Propaganda is also part of, uh, it's part of it. In Yoruba land, they say something, Araija <laughs> Leniwa. You see, that's why I said most of what we're going to do. I won't tell you them. But I can tell you few that you can have an idea of what, uh, of what we're going to do. None of this includes or involves a violence. Everything is going to be right here. And we're going to fund them legally. Are you with me? Back in Nigeria, we are also planning with this fund to help those who have been, uh, you know, who, are, who, are, who have, uh, you know, been affected seriously uh during this attack on Oluye Sunday and we know their names we are starting with uh, the first 12 the disciples of Igbo unfortunately it is uh, not a bed of roses uh, for them since they came out of uh, that uh you know that detention that DSS detention they are currently in court they've sued Nigeria sued Nigeria DSS for uh, the violation of their fundamental human rights but beyond that, from this fund, we plan to reach out to them as well. Just help them with the little we can. Uh, you know, it's, it's the right thing to do, if all of you can remember. But before we start uh, disbursing any fund to anyone, yeah, we need our legal team in place. It is so important and so crucial. Okay? There are other moves. Like, uh, you know, taking our people or mobilizing people in Benin Republic, staging a mass uh, uh, organized protest, uh, bringing in the royal fathers of uh, Yoruba royal fathers in Benin Republic into this, reaching out to everything that we, you know, we'll shake everywhere, we'll shake every tree, we'll, sh I mean, we'll shake every branch. With that, let it go, get his freedom. Of course, we don't know. But is it going to be worth it to give it a shot? 100% yes. If you ask me personally and say, Mayegu, do you believe that if all of these are coordinated, well coordinated and organized, this way you are saying it, do you believe that Igbo can be held in no time? I'll say it to you without a blinking. Yes, I believe. Because, you know, it's not that the uh, Republic, they want to release Igbo. From most of the from most most of what I've been told from reliable sources and all that, 
they don't have anything to do with this other than they are holding Igbo for Nigeria. But they can't release Igbo to Nigeria if Nigeria is not going, it's not ready to do it uh, through the courts. Or except if Igbo agrees to go back to them, then Bene Republic will let, will let him go. So Bene Republic is ready to let him go right now. But they feel like uh, Nigeria is the stumbling block. But we want to make them realize that uh, that is not an excuse. You can't hold an innocent man, extend his uh, detention, and then blame it on other people and say, it's because we don't want them to fight us. That's not how it works. And that's what we want to do. So you don't be surprised, okay? Don't be surprised if uh, in the next uh, one or two, three weeks that we get into this, eh, suddenly they may just tell you that uh, they have released Sunday Igbo, but it's going to be in Bene Republic, okay? That just answered our own prayer. It doesn't matter, like I said, it doesn't matter whatever they want to do. It doesn't matter who wants to do what. We want Igbo out. Sefini. Anything after that, we can take care of that. Yes, we can. And the earlier they release him as well, unconditionally, the better. Maybe we can use our money eh? to make uh, to prepare for the better transit for Igbo, a safe one. You get what I mean now? So this is where we are now. And then, like I said, I will open my line. But before then, let me share with you what I have on my screen. I told you, uh, we current, I mean, I have already taken in uh, on my own uh, paper. I've already withdrew, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 2000 sorry i've already with you uh 3000 uh, two sorry 464 pounds so now what you are going to have on the account there is going to be what is now left as the new donation which i have also added to let you know that uh, we have a total of uh, 3545 pounds from our paypal so now check the paypal uh this is what we have left uh, on the paypal which i haven't really taken out okay uh, here we go. Continues to log out every second if it's not really you. So currently we have uh, 800, uh, I'm sorry, 81 pounds and 14 pence. That hasn't been taken out in bank. We have uh, 3,400 and, uh, sorry, 3,464. But uh, if you add, uh, what do you call, if you add our 81 pounds to that, you get... Uh, 545 i believe however that's just the paper for the gift send i mean sorry gift send go that one is obvious you can all keep the account out there it is open the donor the amount where we are and all that the only thing that is not out there is how much have you taken in mayegun and i've told you i currently have in my possession 18,000 pounds from the give send go 18,000 pounds so if you had that to our uh 3,545 sorry 595 that 90 pounds uh that 50 sorry that 50 pounds from our more uh who wanted to donate outside paypal okay so we currently have again we currently have uh, a total of in bank a total of uh, 21,545 pounds, which if you change it to your Naira, should be somewhere around there, 17.1 million. I will do that again before I repeat that, okay? So that's what we have at hand right now. And we have an outstanding balance of over 5,500 uh, there with Give, Send, Go, the one you have on your screen. So this is my updates. I can answer questions now or even suggestions from everyone who want to chip in. Hello. 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 